What's up? So I got this on the mail from Native. I wrote to them about the issue I was having with my rudder assembly leaking water to inside the boat over here. And as you can see here, this is my Band-Aid fix. In my previous video, you saw that I actually sealed off this area over here, filled it up with water, and the water would drip all the way down from the bottom over here, the bottom of the rudder when I moved it around. Now this Band-Aid fix, when you seal this, it prevents the water from coming inside the boat. And I fished on it and it was dry all day. Native came out with a solution. And this is what they sent me. They sent me three gaskets, an extra screw, a link to their video on how to install it, and an invoice. That's it. Nothing else. I was even hoping for a sticker or something. Maybe a thank you or a letter saying, you know, sorry for the issue. Nothing. Just gaskets and instructions. That's it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here and I'm going to go ahead and install it. Now I'm going to leave this right here because I'm going to test this fix. I reviewed the video already and Native said that we only need one screwdriver to remove this top assembly over here and let the rudder underneath drop down and to install gaskets. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Hmm, that was fairly easy. As you can see what dropped out was the plastic rudder. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this assembly over here. Clean around this scupper hole area. Technically, this is it's considered a scupper hole. All right, you can see underneath the hole over here, it said to remove any burrs. A little sharp, but I guess what they want, what they want you to do is make sure that um, it's not sharp enough and it's not gonna uh, cut the gasket because the gaskets are made on, it's, it's made of some foam. So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth it out. Yeah, there you go, smooth. That was pretty easy. Now let's take a look at these gaskets and see what they're made of. They gave you three and an extra rudder assembly screw. Looks like these gaskets, they're made out of foam and they're really, really dense. Now per instructions, we wanna put this over this right here so that way it seals the outside or the inside and that's it install it underneath the bottom and let's go ahead and work your way up inside and it should be a snug fit and you can see it's actually holding my rudder in place you know what there's a lot of room in here. Why not put two gaskets? I mean, two gaskets, double the seal, right? And there's a lot more room over here. I'm assuming that two gaskets are gonna make it a lot tight, a lot harder to move around, but I'd rather have a very good tight fit. So that's what I'm gonna do. There you go. Now I have two gaskets was so actually covering the whole shaft over here and I'm not sure why they made it this size but it made more sense to just keep it a lot longer I'm gonna install it with two I, I want to make sure that there's no water coming out of this so let's go ahead and do that now that looks way better let's go ahead and put this back in here now it's matched in there Take the original screw and let's put it back in here. And for instructions, you want to make it so it's all the way tight, where you can't go no more. And back out just a little bit. Now I thought the gasket would cause 
a lot of resistance, but apparently it's not. It, it, I can still turn pretty good. Here goes my glass of water. I'm gonna pour it in here now. Okay, let's hope this works. I'm gonna go ahead and move this rudder around. Moving the rudder around. You can see I'm just still moving this rudder around. I'm breaking it in slowly. Still moving it. Look at that. Not a single drop of water. Completely dry. It looks like that, that fix actually did it. I used two gaskets, not one, two. I don't know how long these gaskets will last, but right now it's a fix. I'm hoping it's gonna last a long time. We'll, we'll see how this works. Right now I'm pretty glad that they're addressing this issue and it looks so far so good. Uh, I'll have a follow up video with you guys to see how this gasket works in, in a lake to see if it's actually gonna hold everything. But uh, I, I'm happy right now. That's fixed for the native Titan 10.5. Again, um, I have no regrets of this boat. Yes, I'm dealing with the, the water and the deck issue. Yes, native addressed it. And it looks like it's fixed. One thing, maybe I'm being a, a little prissy about this, but like a lot of early adopters out there, I was bummed out that I had this issue but spending $2,500 on the boat. Clearly, a lot of people are having this issue and a lot of us actually addressed this. And as you can see, they came out with the fix. Now, where does this stand for us early adopters, you know? Um, as you can see, I looked in the envelope. Nothing, just invoice, just instructions and a gasket. What I would like to see was like a letter saying that, hey, sorry that this happened. Um, you know that I'm sure this wasn't their intent and you know a, a thank you letter for addressing this issue and for them having allowing them to have the opportunity to address this for all their other boats I, I didn't get that you know I'm happy that it's addressed and you know and potentially this is gonna resolve the issue but no letter apology no sticker <laughs> I would have liked the sticker Shoot, even a sweater or a t-shirt or whatever. But I didn't get all that. All right, so that's my fix with native.